Hello everybody and welcome to this week's game devlog on Naked World, the game where jumps are limited. Would you believe me if I told you that the majority of this devlog was implemented late Saturday night? Let's get into it. On the art side, I made a variation of the rocks and gravel to make the environment not totally empty looking. Made a tileable prefab and a regular one for walls and such. I'm well aware that I said that World 2 art assets were fully implemented, but ways to improve come out of left field sometimes in development. Sometimes too much, actually. But I'm getting a little off track. Moving on to the technicals. For some reason, Unity's animator doesn't record the sprite slot on the sprite mask component. At least not yet. So I had to make a custom function to have the animation's call set function every time the sprite needs changing. For reference, this is Unity 2017.2. So maybe it's fixed in a later version. If it is, please let me know. I'm a little curious. This next one has been a long time coming. I finally got controller support for the overworld and the level select screens, both for Windows and Mac. With that, I think this is the last time I have to deal with controller support in any significant way for the foreseeable future. I don't really have much when it comes to the polish list this week, but I do have some new conceptual levels for World 3. One will require the player to jump and activate the falling spikes so that they could make the other spikes unsolid, adding some more risk versus reward. In another level, I'm thinking of retooling the homing spike, which I made months ago a little bit to destroy certain walls making it a bit more of a risky and more exciting problem solving process and another one requires the player to push a cube while the homing spike is flying both the cube and the flying spike are required to finish the level again it's a work in progress that'll be it for this week let me know if you have any questions or feedback take care of yourselves and have a good week